So, finally, some big news are actually coming our way. This isn't even a hint or a speculation. Literally, the Exploring Northern book that was just released like yesterday by Blizzard confirmed that Yogg Saron is still alive and active. Previously, we've had multiple hints from the actual Dragonfly beta to the Alderman books to the other various hints from even things like the Dragonfly Legacies, the animated George series. However, what does Yogg-Saron being alive really mean and is he going to be returning in the new expansion? Are we going to get an old god final boss and what are all of these news? If you guys are looking to buy a new wallet, then check out the sponsor of this video, Rich. They sent this thing to me years ago and it's literally the only wallet that I've used. Recently, they've also released key cases as well, so you can check that out as well. But overall, their products are great. For the wallet, you can put 12 cards here, you can push cash on the side, and it's just super cool. If you want to get a 10% discount, use Kudoron and check out my link in the description below. So, let's be real, Blizzard is definitely kind of backtracking on the story. I know they kind of left it half open-ended, but they did in a way confirm that we have defeated the old gods and that their story is kind of over. Realistically, the defeat of Nazot really... <laughs> was lame to put it as simple as it is and in my opinion the entire storyline didn't really feel as grand as you would have expected prior when we believed that the old gods were a really big deal and that we would go into some sort of a massive like hopeless fight if they were actually released. However, on Blizzard's side, realistically, Nuzot really was considered the weakest out of all of them. This really was a known fact in the past as well. Now, on the other hand, Yogg-Saron is a lot more powerful and a lot more relevant as well, and his impact was much larger on the planet and pretty much the entirety of the history of Azeroth. As we have known in the past, Yogg-Saron had corrupted the world trees that were planted, and he literally created the, you know, the little anomaly that all of you know is the Emerald Nightmare that it posed quite a threat on multiple occasions and was at one point really dangerous. Then this guy literally created the Curse of Flesh, which if you don't know is one of the most significant things that ever happened on Azeroth. Arguably, I would say this is as big as the Sundering itself as an overall event on Azeroth. Through the Curse of Flesh, he pretty much split away and broke the Titan hegemony over Azeroth. He made the Keepers essentially useless, he corrupted them, he divided them and created a civil war and he essentially fathered it you can use the word fathered, many of the known races today. Everyone from the humans to dwarves to gnomes used to be titan forged that were struck by this curse that completely changed them. Now, on the other hand, we learned even more new information directly from Alderman in the Dragonfly P patch where we learned he struck hard long before the curse of flesh. It is now 100% confirmed that it was Yogg-Saron that through his prison corrupted the dragon's drinking well and through it he created a monstrosity no as Galakron. Essentially, he turned a regular proto drake into a gigantic monstrosity that cannibalized his own people. This guy was the first big evil Azeroth had faced since the ordering by the Titans, and his entire storyline is essentially responsible for the creation of the dragon aspects, which led to the current Dragon Isle story and everything else. So, in a way, essentially, Oxron was behind all this stuff. Now, most recently, Blizzard released a book, literally a day ago, called Exploring Azeroth Northrend, which is a continuation of the previous series, and as we could all expect it, of course, Yogg-Saron was mentioned. Now, this wasn't an explicit confirmation where they said Yogg-Saron is coming back to haunt the dragons as they return to the Dragon Isles and he will be the final boss of the dragon fight, but they did say something along the lines of this. Though defeated, Yogg-Saron's madness still continues, with its whispers still heard around Northrend and the halls of Old One. If you analyze this further, the wording is very specific with this. It was never said that Yogg-Saron was killed, that he was eliminated, that he was deceased, or that we had gotten rid of him. It was said that he was defeated, yet his madness continues and his whispers are still heard. Now, I know old gods can still spread their influence for quite a long time after their death, to a limited extent, as was the case with the heart of Yashiraj and Garrosh, but that case was a bit different. This isn't an artifact or, you know, a body part of Yogg 
Thrawn or some eye or anything of the sort, as that would be incredibly potent with energies, but instead, his whispers are still heard, meaning that he's the one making the whispers, he is whispering around the halls of Ulduar. Now, I'm 100% certain that this is not a coincidence, especially because we recently received a ton of old cut hints, which are obviously pointing towards further story progression involving them. L let me just sum up everything we have gotten in the past few months in as quickly as possible so that you can connect all of them into a single point. First off, and keep in mind there are some spoilers for the storylines, but there are Twilight's Hammer agents that are infiltrating the Black Dragonfight directly on the Dragon Isles that are trying to accomplish some sort of a mission that is currently unknown. Then Galakrond is obviously said to be a crucial part of this expansion and Blizzard just so suddenly released a Titan Keeper communication letter that led us to learn that Yogg Saron was the one behind the creation of Galakrond, you know, at just the right time. Then, most recently, as you may have watched in the Dragonflight Legacy's Deathwing part, we got a huge hint that Neltarion wasn't corrupted around the time of the Sundering and the Burning Legion invasion with the Whispers, but that he has been willingly using the Void powers, and when you examine it, these don't even seem like straight out like Void powers, like Void Lord's powers, but they are tentacles that indicate that these are in fact old god powers possibly involving yogg -Saron. This once again is not a coincidence as they purposefully show us that part and apparently this was hidden even from Nosdormu which means that we are set to learn some big thing about the void and the old gods in general in Dragonflight. Now with the conveniently released book we learned that yogg -Saron was merely defeated and that he is still active which in my opinion are just too many hints for this to not really be a relevant storyline. Furthermore, there is yet another hint from the Dragonflight artbook that tells us that the portal to the Emerald Dream in the Dragon Isles is the first one ever. This is like the original portal into this ancient and mysterious realm that is also connected to the Titans. When you combine this with the Twilight Scammer agents of the Dragon Isles, the Primal is trying to access the Emerald Dream with some mysterious purpose that we're yet to find out. And the fact that Yogg-Saron was quite aware of the Emerald Dream and was the one that orchestrated its corruption, this could additionally be a another storyline that could be happening. Maybe we will learn that these primalists are working with the old gods as they're obviously fighting against anything titan related and involving the titans and seeing that the black empire was there before the titans arrived it is possible that originally they were allied to Yogg-Saron. Personally, I expect that there will be a big amount of Void Lord coming our way with the entire hint from the Deathwing Legacy's video that shows us his use of Void Magics. Honestly, I expect to see something with this entire new storyline of Titans are not exactly the good guys and that they are the conquerors of Azeroth, not the saviors that we used to believe. It is possible that Deathwing learned about the true reality of what was really going on on Azeroth and that he knew way more than we believed he knew, which might have actually led to his madness. As you may know, he was the aspect of Earth and he had a deep connection to areas beneath the ground, which is how he was corrupted by the old gods in the first place. Maybe 20,000 years ago, he wasn't corrupted, but he made some type of a pact with Yogg-Saron, which gave him the powers that we have seen that he used against the Primalists. So, turns out that the speculation that people had that the old gods are going to be relevant in regards to the final boss of the Dragon Fight may not actually be wild speculations and it could be a reality with some really big support. Specifically because Galakrond was an old god creation and he's definitely going to be relevant to some extent. Of course, we don't really know whether Yogg-Saron is going to be the final boss of the expansion, but it is likely that he's going to have an active role in Dragonflight. This role could be a direct one, it could be an indirect one with just Yogg-Saron's influence, such as the Emerald Nightmare, or we could get a full-on release and revival of Yogg-Saron, which could finally give Blizzard a real chance to really just make up for that debacle with Nazoth and give us a true old god fighting experience. Thank you for watching, check out the newly discovered zone Avaloran and what it is by clicking on the screen and check out Donuts Academy for videos on real world history. See you next time.